To answer this question, we need to take note that this rocket that's being launched into the air can be tracked using its height, represented by F, and the seconds it spends after being launched, represented by S. With those two measurements, let's create a graph of two axes, F for height, S for seconds. The question already tells us that the rocket is launched from an initial height of 5 feet, which means it's already starting at 5 feet even before being launched. No seconds have passed, it's already at 5 feet. Later in the problem, we see that it reaches a height of 86 feet after 3 seconds have passed. So let's chart that on our graph. The question gives us another clue as to how we can solve it. By saying that we can express the relationship of the rockets launching into air through a quadratic equation. That key phrase, quadratic equation, tells us that the rocket took more a path of a parabola than a straight line. Since the question ultimately asks for an equation that represents the relationship of this rocket, let's use an equation of a parabola in standard form. The equation of a parabola in standard form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. This equation is special because it gives us the vertex of the parabola, as long as we know enough information about the parabola. This question has told us that the maximum value of the parabola is a height of 86 after 3 seconds, or the coordinate 3, 86. In the standard form equation of a parabola, the vertex can be found by merely taking h, comma k. Since we have the vertex for this parabola and axes of f and s, our equation should look something like this. f equals a s minus 3 squared plus 86. Incorporating the 3 and the 86 from our vertex, we should get an equation like that. We don't know A just yet, but looking at the equations and the answer choices, we could probably get rid of B and C, since they don't have a minus 3 inside the parentheses. In order to eliminate further, let's use the other point the question gave us, 0, 5. Meaning, when s is 0, f should be 5. Starting with answer a, if we made f5 and s 0, We could see if that coordinate works in this equation, thus proving it is an equation that works for all points on the parabola. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. So we have 5 times 9 plus 86. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 86. And I'm going to estimate that 45 plus 86 is not equal to 5. So let's get rid of A, which leaves us with D, which is our right answer. So there you go. That's our hardest math question so far for the new SAT in SAT Up. If you were solving this question on our blog at wisdom.scorebeyond.com and you'd like extra help on questions like this or in the math section in general, go toward the bottom of the page and hit Get Personalized Tutoring. Our tutors can help walk you through questions just like this and teach you the equations you need to know, the tips you need to know, and the strategies you need to use to rock the math section on the new SAT.